everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Secular Bertina and today we are gonna look at how this person on your mind feels about you. So um, I got this topic because I just recently joined TikTok. So please do follow me there, Secular Bertina. And um, most of the comments there, the questions, they always ask if they're gonna get back with this person on their mind, um, like their ex, if they're gonna be, you know, back together. So I thought... Why not make a video about it? After all, you know, a good relationship is always a good way to start your 2023. So um, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new to pick up pile, then basically I have your three piles for you to choose from. It could be the design, the color, whichever you feel resonates for you. So um, for pile number one, we have here your Fortuna Tarot. For pile number two, we have here your Mystic Fool Tarot. And for pile number three, we have here your Synesthesia Tarot. So again, pause the video if you like. Now once you've chosen, head over down to the timestamps to see the clickable link of your pile. And I will see you there. Hey there, pile number one. Thank you so much for being here. So if you chose this Fortuna Tarot, then this is going to be a reading regarding how the person on your mind feels about you or about your relationship. So um, first, we're going to look at what happened in your relationship and then where you, where you currently are in terms of your emotions. And then we're going to look at how it's going to turn out. We're also going to look at um, some channeled messages. So yeah, um, if this is the pile that you picked, then let's go straight to your reading. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, let's see. Sorry about the noise. Um, so, for this reading, we're not going to look at um, energy cards. So, we're just going to go straight to tarot. Um, so, Spirit, uh, how is Pile One's person feeling? Have you the star? Hmm, good way to start your reading. Uh, Ten of Wands or the Ten of Candles. And then you have here the universe or the world in reverse. So, you have here the Two of Elixirs or the Two of Cups. Okay, pile number one, straight up. This is really a good energy for for um for a love reading. So with the star card here being your first card, I think that this person really also has hope about you getting back together. The question is whether them actually doing something about it is going to give them, you know, um it's going to be a good decision. So I think that your relationship has been um it's been great considering, you know, the love that you have for each other. But in terms of the maturity of the relationship, I think that you were lacking on that aspect, which is why you guys broke up. But I um, don't want to get ahead of myself. Let me get just one more card for you. See, the Empress. And at the back of the deck, you have here the Prince of Alexiers or the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, um, this person on your mind, so like I said earlier, I think this person really has a lot of hope. Although you may feel that it's not really how they feel right now, you may think that they're not interested in getting back with you. They are. It's just that they are, of course, withdrawn and focusing on themselves right now. I think that during the relationship, you could have said, you know, you could have said a lot of things that hurt their ego. Um, um, but, but in terms of your breakup, this isn't actually like a breakup breakup because most of you, for most of you, you are still in communication with this person. I think that you haven't really, you know, you didn't really lost touch. Um, I think that you both are still in very good terms with each other. If there's any argument that's going on right now, it's probably um, just revolving around the both of you really ceiling getting back together like literally calling each other boyfriend girlfriend because 
you know, you know, sometimes, especially um younger generations, they, I don't know, this will probably, you know, give you my age, but when I was younger, there's such a thing or a relationship called an MU, like, for mutual understanding so it's sort of like an open relationship but it doesn't really happen that way um so i think that you're you, you both are sort of in that relationship now with the universe being here in reverse with this card as you can see you can see here the sun and the moon which is supposed to be perfectly balanced but this card is in reverse I think that one of the problems that you've had in your relationship was the lack of was the lack of communication, the lack of balance. There's a lot of, you know, um, there's a lot of I guess conflicting energies and thoughts. It could be very, you know, it could be very possible that the both of you have very different not just identities but very different values. Um, but with the two of cups here. Um, and being followed by the Empress, if you're asking if this person and you will get back together, definitely there is a very, very high chance. The Two of Cups talks about, you know, relationships, relationships are in good terms, union, you know, a decision being made about, um, you know, which is more based on feelings. And with this Cups here, with this Cup here, and with the moon there, I think that this is coming really soon. However, this is a very specific message for most of you. Whoever is the most more feminine in terms of energy, again, um, energies there they don't relate to gender. So even if even if I say that you know whoever is the most feminine, it could be very much a guy. <laughs> um, but whoever has a more feminine energy in terms of in terms of your relationship. It would be very helpful for the both of you to get back together if whoever is, you know, exuding that energy may be the one to make an effort to communicate first. It could also be very possible that the mother, um, that the mother of your ex actually can try to convince that person to try and communicate with you this is actually um your reading is actually very nice it 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 sort of like just looks to me that you like just had a rough patch and emotions got in the way remember you have here the knight of cups underneath so i think that your person is already considering contacting you already considering um getting back with you or at least reaching out but remember they're not at the stage where the emotion is already stable there are still some fears that they may have there are still some worries that they may have especially with the ten of candles being here or the ten of wands there are some burdens or some you know some issues that he thinks or she thinks or in in, in its entirety the person on your mind thinks hasn't been resolved and i think that's um that's one of the crucial parts for them to really push forward um, into fixing this relationship with you. So let's get some clarifiers. You have here the three of wands. So again, um, this really just boils down to them, to this person, accepting and making a decision that they really want to pursue you. There's no, there's no worry about the thought how they're feeling no worry about that they do love you if that's what you're asking they do love you still they still have strong emotions but whether they want to get back to you is a question as of now then you have here the king of the king of wands so again similar thing a lot of passion a lot of love um i don't think that the love has died down with the king of candles being here i think that this person really just worries about how your past issues how you're going to move on from the past issues that you know caused this breakup or resting period in the first place i think that that's one of the things that you need to discuss with if if and when this person contacts you, which they will, most likely they will, that there's like a re really, really big chance that they will. Six of Wands. See? You guys are going to get back together. The Six of Wands 
talks about victory, talks about success. And with this Six of Wands clarifying the universe or the world in traditional tarot, then what better energy would you expect or would you want to have for a love reading? So this is something that you guys are going to get over, but you have to be very, very, not just patient, but I guess the proper word would be understanding. The concern of the person on your mind is about the past, how the both of you dealt with your issues before. And this person just doesn't want to drag that into this new relationship or into this new chapter of your lives the moment that you get back together. You do have a tendency, pile number one, you do have the tendency to keep on dragging baggage. Um, and that's not something that this person wants. You're someone who... I guess your mantra would be learn from your mistakes and that's always a common thing that you say. Like, uh, for example, you ask the person, um, this already happened before, how come you're not learning, blah, blah, blah. Do, do you not really listen to me? Stuff like that. So that kind of tone, those you know, poor choices of words, this person is very sensitive. Yes, they are very loving, they are very passionate, but they are also sensitive. Remember, you have here as your first, you have here as your um, first card, the star which is ruled by Aquarius. Aquarius is an energy, is very withdrawn, focuses on the self, very into their emotions, very into their thoughts. So, um, so if you do want to work this relationship out, then you have to make certain, I wouldn't really say adjustments, but you would have to compromise with how your person wants to, wants your future or your forward time to be. You have here the King of Talismans or the King of Pentacles. So this person could be contacting you anytime soon, probably within the next, um, I don't know, two to six months. But um, one of the things that you need to do on your end is to really, really just be honest, lay down your cards the same way that they will. And once they do it, this person is just really going to be honest with you. Um, pile number one, they're going to go to you and just really, you know, talk about your issues, talk about what, whatever it is that was on their mind. Now, if that's something that you can live with, if their ask is something that you can give, for example, um, they tell you, if we get back together, I don't really want to have, or I don't really want to go through the same thing that we went through before. I don't really want to discuss, you know, our problems before. I just really want a fresh start. Then if you agree, you have to keep your word for it because if you don't, and this fails another time, this is going to hurt. More than it did, you know, this is really going to hurt. The breakup is going to hurt more than it did this previous, you know, this previous instance or the last time around. So you really have to be careful, um, pile number one. Lastly, you have here the Queen of Elixirs or the Queen of Cups, um, clarifying the Empress. So, yeah, um, back of the deck, you have here the Six of Cups in reverse. So, again, um, the Six of Cups talks about nostalgia. Um, past memories, energy, and the fact that this is in reverse, this is really their main concern. What's stopping this person from really pursuing you as the Knight of as the Knight of Cups should, really is you know, just based on how they think you will deal with the past. They don't want this break of this separation, this resting period in your relationship to drag into the new chapter of your lives together now going back to the empress and the queen of elixirs like i said whoever has the more feminine energy that's the person who has to approach I think that your person on your mind, again, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. I think that your person, whatever their gender may be, is the one who's a little more, you know, feminine. They're probably the one who's very sweet, very, you know, probably their acts of love would be service or affirmation. Something that's, something you would think is intangible, but something that would really you know something that really sticks they do things that you can't touch but they really stick for example and this is like um this is like a very particular thought on my mind for example um whenever you drink hot chocolate you always add cinnamon 
not everyone adds cinnamon but for some reason you do and your person remembers that so whenever they try to get you drinks they always remember your preference and that's why you're very bothered right now the same way that they're very observant about you know the same way that they're very observant about how you do certain things how you do certain things how you like certain things they're also that observant how you react when they don't do the things that you like the way that you like them to be done okay so that's really just very very specific but it's overall a good energy you know you getting back together this person being honest with you and just really telling you what's wrong and then you know you being asked to just really embody a more understanding a more accepting a more compromising energy or at least you know your part would be to just really listen and be truthful to whatever it is that you guys will discuss or whatever it is that you guys will you know um agree on so very nice very nice so for the last part let us get some channel messages from your person so let's try and see if you know what are their thoughts that have been running through their mind since you know since el nino moments so spirit can you give us some messages from pile one's person please messages please see blank so if you have a blank message and probably this person is lost for words, it could be that they tried to contact you or tried to give you a ring on your phone, but then you weren't able to pick it up. So the conversation didn't really, you know, didn't really go anywhere. You have here, I'm scared. See, I'm scared falling right here on the Ten of Wands. Like I told you, this person is very concerned of how this breakup or this separation is going to play a part on your on the future of your relationship if ever you get back together i don't know if you saw that but there i'm scared so yeah messages spirit i dislike you right now so dislike doesn't really mean that they hate you okay um they really they really just have some concerns about how you are going to handle the truth they're going to tell you or about the truth that they feel. This, like I said earlier, this person, there's no question about the love, but it's more of like, are they still willing to go through this relationship with you? That's the question. And then why did you do this? Okay, I don't know what you did, pile number one, but what's really ringing to me was that message that I sent I said earlier where it could be that you make them feel that they don't learn from their mistakes could be that you sound more like their mother um rather than a partner and that could really be why this fell on these two energies um could be that you know I'm sorry but there could be some instances where you were such a nag not because i'm not saying that it's a bad thing well yeah sometimes it is but um it's this is this this these questions this dislike this instability it's really more decked on how you made them feel not really what you did okay but look underlying energy don't let me go ever so like i said this person really has a lot of hope still really still wants to get back with you but even if this is an underlying energy meaning that's really how they feel that's really what they want to say they do have some concerns and these are con these concerns are really valid if you guys are going to move forward then you don't want to bring this baggage or whatever pro problem you had before into this new chapter of your relationship so that's a thought that you need to really take into consideration pile number one if you're wanna, if you're if you going to get back if you are oh my god i'm stuttering black space so yeah it's really just a thought that you need to consider if you're going to get back with your person okay 
So um, that's it, file number one. Thank you so much for being here. Now, if you did like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to check on anything. Do follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, Psyche Libertina. And um, for those of you who believe in manifestations or are manifesting, I do have my own um, manifestation candle lines, wicks, and crystals. Do follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And um, yeah, thank you again, pal number one. And I will see you on your next reading. Bye. Hey there, pal number two. Thank you so much for being here. So if you chose our um, mystical fool, Carol, then this is going to be your reading regarding how your person feels about you. So for the first part, we're going to see what happened. Do they have any concerns? And then we're going to check where you currently are in this part of your relationship. And then we're going to see how it's going to turn out and what they're going to do. Um, and then lastly, we're going to get some channeled messages from your person to you. So um, this um, reading is then, I'll do it differently. So I'm not going to check. Um... I'm not going to check your energies. We're not going to use some oracle cards. Um, like my usual readings, um, we're just going to go straight to tarot and just really see how this person really feels about you. So, um, okay. Two, a lot of things to say. So, spirit, um, how is pile one? Oh, sorry. Pile one, pile two's person feeling you have here the seven of cups in reverse so there is a lot of confusion regarding you know um regarding the thoughts and feelings of this person it could be that they're really not convinced of you know how they want this to play out not really sure if they want to get back with you or not you have here the ace of cups yeah so they're not really sure if they do want to get back to you right now. I think that this person is very withdrawn from you. Um, you know, very little communication. The seven and the ace of cups, when you add them together, it's an eight. And the eight of cups talks about withdrawal, sort of like an, a hermit energy. You have here the king of wands in reverse. So with the king of wands being here in reverse, I think that you in particular... Um, Pile number two, I think that you're at that stage where you're sort of like really giving up on having hope about this relationship as well. I would understand that though, given, you know, the circumstances and how your person is reacting towards you. It could be that you've been trying to reach out, you know, you've been trying to fix things with them, but they don't just respond. And then you have here the pentacles, ten of pentacles in reverse see what the last card would be and the knight of cups in reverse okay back of the deck you have here justice card in reverse okay so now i know why i said um why i said that pile number one one earlier instead of pile number two because the energy is very similar um with pile number one it's not exactly the same especially with um the withdrawal part going on here but in terms of how the future is going to be you may want to check that pile as well if you did resonate with it um again this is a general reading so um there are some things that you know may di may differ or may not be exact from how your real situation is so just take whatever resonates so um Going back to your cards, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups, I think that this person, at the back of their mind, within their heart, they still do want to work things with you. However, they want your future relationship, if you guys are going to get back together. They wanted something that's more grounded, something that's more stable, something that you know you guys have agreed upon. They do have certain concerns on how they show love. I think that the both of you have a very very different love, love languages which was the main cause of this argument in the first place um let's talk about the seven of cups energy the seven of cups normally talks about you know fantasizing um and really just being confused um while the ace of cups talks about you know just having a new chance getting a new offer at love your emotions you know um your emotions being more mellow they're being more enjoyable um and you do have the knight of cups here and if you remember for some of you who does um or who knows how to read tarot um the traditional rider way tarot um 
has an image of a knight holding a cup, which is being offered. It's something that's being offered. And the fact that you have here, these two are standing up. They're standing um, out to me. So I think that this person does want to offer you something, a reconciliation, but they're not sure if they can sustain it. Thinking of it, it has crossed their mind, if that's what you're asking. Did they ever think of, you know, like getting back with you? Yes, they did, but they're not really sure. They're not really sure if it's something that they still want to go through with. Okay, so I mean, it's sort of like, for example, you want to get liposuction. You're sure that you, you do want to lose weight. You know, it's something that you really want to have, but you're not sure if you want to go through the pain. You're not sure if you want to go under the knife, but you do want to try it. You do have a goal for it. You do have, you know, your mindset that you do want to lose weight, but it, you're just not sure if the methodology is a proper, you know, is a proper thing for you. So, um, so I think that, this um, confusion, this is something that we're going to clarify later. What exactly are they confused about? Which is causing them to withdraw this, you know, offering you this chance to get together. Now, with the King of Wands being here, I think that, um, I think that for some reason I'm seeing them, I'm seeing like the Four of Wands here. I think that, okay, it could be very possible that for some of you, you're sort of like, on the getting married soon stage, you know, been together for a few years. So, which, which I understand now why this is very difficult for you. But I think that one of the things that you're being called to do, um, pile number two, is not just to lower your guard, but really to be a little more submissive than you prefer. I think that Sorry, it's not a proper statement, but I think that sort of this person felt that they were bullied in their relationship. They weren't heard. You know, the only thing that you notice would be the wrong things that they would do whenever they do right things. And then they did something itty bitty, you know, like a very small thing. For example, um, they failed to, I don't know, put the dishes back in the dish rack because they were tired or something. You make that like a really, really big issue as if they didn't even wash the dishes when in fact they did. So like that's just a random sample. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, it could really be um, very possible as well. Like I said, that you know you, you both are on that stage where you can potentially get married. Could be that you share a kid with, you share a child or you have lived together at one point you have here the justice card in reverse so oh i failed to notice it says here fairness come here it says here fairness so i think that you know the energies are very unbalanced at home or if or at least between the two of you um with what i said oh see you have here the knight of swords in reverse so a lot of things they couldn't say, a lot of things that they hid from you um, during the relationship. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, you know, they hid bad things. I'm just saying that they weren't really vocal about how they felt um, during your relationship, which is why, you know, it just, it, it turned into this, not really mess, but into this situationship that you have with them. So let's get some clarifications on these cards. So, seven a cup. You have here the chariot, yeah, in reverse. So again, chariot talks about speed and action. The fact that this is in reverse, really, what it's just really the confusion that's holding them back to do something about this. They're they're probably taking their sweet time right now. Could be that they're not talking to you, not because they hate you, but because they really need the time to think, and you have to respect that. You have here the ace of wands in reverse again, underneath the ace of cups. So. This relationship of yours with this person, your relationship um, pushing forward isn't really like a straight path. It's not going to be like the moment that you guys talk. It's going to be all better and, you know, have some makeup, whatever. It's not going to be like that. This is something that's going to require a lot of effort. It's really going to require the both of you, especially you, pile number two, whoever you, whoever's watching, um, 
this is really going to require the both of you to just sit down and deal with your issues. Deal with whatever it is that he did not tell you or he hasn't voiced out. So you have to resolve those before the both of you can move on from this thing that happened. You have here the Page of Cups in reverse. So again, having an offer, you have here your Ace of Cups, you have here your Page of Cups, both, both of which signify a new chance at love. Um, but with this Page of Cups clarifying the, the King of Wands, like I told you earlier, there really needs to be some submission. If you are very aggressive, um, sorry, the first word that came to my mind was egoistic, I'm sorry. But if you do have an ego, I suggest that you put it aside right now. And then when you guys talk, you know, you bring it up, you discuss, you lay down the cards, you tell him what you think or her, and then you let them tell you what they think and just really be accepting of whatever it is that they're going to say. The best communications and the best outcomes comes from, you know, just really honest discussions. And then you have here the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune following the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, I think you guys are going to get back together. Really. With the Wheel of Fortune being here, the, the, this is a very particular energy. It could be that probably around the end of the year, that's when you guys are gonna get you know everything fixed but the wheel of um the wheel of fortune is ruled by jupiter and sagittarius i did oh yeah that was a different card but um yeah it's ruled by jupiter and it's ruled by sagittarius so meaning that you know if and when you get back into this relationship with this person you really have to be more understanding than how you were i cannot emphasize that enough because i think that it, you know i think that this time away from this person has also taught you how to be not independent how to be how to value those people who you think are weak um and i'm sorry if i'm gonna say this but if you're one i mean if you've watched my previous videos i always say it you know we're just really very straightforward here but i did say earlier that if you're sort of a person who has a lot of ego you really have to rethink if that's the person that you really want to sustain or if that's really the attitude you want to sustain if being if being a very not just direct but sometimes insensitive insensitive is you know <laughs> Sorry, my son just sneezed. So, um, you really have to ask yourself if that's something that, you know, if that's an attitude or if that's the personality that you really want to live with. Okay. Oh. And, oh, see? It just fell. You saw that. You have here the lover's card in reverse. See? Commitment. The lover's card in reverse, clarifying the Knight of Cups. Back of the deck, oh, two of cups. See, union. If you were by any chance drawn to pile number one, sorry about the noise, but um, if you by any chance were drawn to pile number one, then you really have to check that out as well. But going back to this reading and this two of cups with the underlying energy and this justice card, I think that even though, even though there are there are a lot of differences between you and this person, I think that this person really does want to get back with you. Okay, they really want to get back with you. They want to start a family with you. They want. <laughs> it's funny because this feels like this gives me like twin flame energy. It could be that you've been with this person for quite some time, or it could be that you got with them in the first place because of a whirlwind romance, and then it just lasted and it just worked out. And then now this is like sort of like sorry about the noise, but this sort of like is a shock for you right now. Whatever is happening, this you know this disconnect because it wasn't something that you were prepared for. I mean, who is anyway? But what I'm seeing here is really just you know um, this person wanting to be with you, this person wanting to offer you something, and this person just really. You know, 
there you just want to hold your hand just really you know um get back with you in dear good graces and just really start you know start fresh especially with the two of cups here you have here the two of cups you have here you have here your um you have here your lovers you have here your ace of cups so in all aspects this person really does want to get back with you yes they are confused yes they are taking their time but if anything um they do want to fix this they do want to fix this as much as you it's just that you know they haven't really wrapped their head around it they probably were too hurt um about what happened but yeah at least you're sure or were sure that there is a very very big chance that they are you and them are gonna get back together so let's get some channel messages spirit please file number two is person to them you have here i can't be with you right now well it's a given yeah this one falling here on the seven of cups understood they are still confused after all that's something that that we've been repeating earlier it did say right now but that doesn't mean that they can't be with you tomorrow right i have an addiction again things that they're not saying um okay it could be, you know, for some people, they they can really have some, you know, some problems, some mental problems. Addiction really just isn't about drugs. It, it could be, you know, it could be, you know, like OCDs, addiction to cleanliness or whatsoever. So there are things that you really need to discuss with this person. Um, with this card showing here, I did tell you earlier there are things that they probably can't say so might be good to check in with them once you guys you know have the chance to talk you complete me oh and this one falling here ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is actually you know completion um the tens are <laughs> ten and ten um the tens after all um signify completion signify completion of a cycle so um signify you know just really things ending and new beginnings starting so with this card falling here you complete me I, i'm i'm really already a loss lost for words um this person just really really wants to get back with you if that's your concern and then you deserve better than me so again a lot of confusion they do they do want you but they're not sure if they would be the person that's right for you that could be that could most likely be why um the chariot is here after all it does depict ambition underneath it there so it could be that you know you're you're very driven and stuff and they feel like they're pulling you down it could be that you also told that you also said that on you know on one moment where you had lack of judgment with your words back of the deck i miss you so much it hurts so this person really has a lot of you know a lot of you on their mind they do want to get back to you they do want to fix things again th there's union here there's the lovers here you have here the ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune you have here the page of cups and the ace of cups so this really just has getting back together written all over it but if anything again you have to deal with this confusion you have to deal with this you know being a little more um understanding accommodating and just really you know toning down on the ego portion of yourself okay so um that's it pile number two thank you so much for staying with me and if you did like this video please feel free to give me a thumbs up comment down there if you want me to check on anything do follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok psyche liberty Night. yes we're on tiktok and uh, for those of you who does who do manifest manifesting i do have a manifestation candleline wicks and crystals also on instagram and facebook so um that's it pile number two thank you so much for staying with me and i will see you on our next reading bye
Hey there, pal number three. Thank you so much for being here. If you chose the synesthesia tarot, then this is going to be a reading regarding your person's thoughts and how they feel about you. So first, we're going to check um, what went wrong into the relationship, what are they thinking, what are their considerations, and then we're going to look at where you are in this journey of your relationship and then what's going to happen, how it's going to turn out, what are they going to do. Um, and then lastly, we're going to get some channeled messages for you. So um, for this reading, it's going to be... Um, a little different we're not gonna look at the energy um, we're just you know we're just gonna go straight to tarot um, and just really just really see how this person is feeling about you um, pile number three we're gonna we're gonna take a peek oh, okay so that one wants to go there let us see what this is oh you have here the three of cups upright for your first card hmm okay so spirit um how is how three's person feeling about them three of cups talks about celebration so it could be that this person right now is enjoying you know the space it could be that they're trying to reconnect with old people in their lives you have here the hanged man in reverse. So yeah, they're in this state right now, um, at least of their relationship, or they're not really their relationship, at least of their life, where they're enjoying themselves. They they really just um they are focusing on themselves, trying to, you know, catch up with lost time. I think that your relationship has been a little bit restricting for them. Um, with the hanged man being here, the hanged man after all is ruled by Neptune, um, ruled by Pisces. So I think that this person hasn't really been upfront with you regarding how they felt. Um, right now, they're sort of like they're sort of like in their own box where they don't want to be bothered. Um, I know it doesn't look promising, but if anything, they're trying to rebuild their themselves. I, I, they're trying to just really get a hold of what they want in life. They're trying to be more sure of how they want to proceed. It could be that they're right now they're focusing on, you know, um, their own problems. They may have had some family problems or some financial problems before. It could be that they lost someone um during the past few months and they haven't really recovered from that. That's really just a very specific message. Oh, okay. And you have here the Knight of Swords in reverse. So with the Knight of Swords being here, um, whether this is upright or not, the Knight of Swords always is a brash energy. It's always an energy that moves too quickly, um, very impulsive and sometimes domineering. And I think this is the problem that you had um, with this person. It's not that they were like that. It could be, or at least from how I'm seeing it, it could be that you're the one who's more domineering. I did say that this relationship was probably or most likely very restrictive for your person, which is why right now they're sort of like... I just really want space. Um, you have here the High Priestess upright. Let me get just one more card. And you have the Tower in reverse. Hmm, interesting. And then you have the Hierophant um, upright as your underlying energy now. As your underlying energy, with the Hierophant being here, this thing that's going on with your relationship, this separation situation, it's really, it's really happening because it, it's meant to teach you something. Now, what is that? I think that as a person, you think very highly of yourself. And that's just right. With High Priestess being here, that's just right because... Um, I think that you're a self-made person, you know, someone who has gone through a lot of struggles. It could be that you also read tarot. Um, just you know, just a general, um, just a general thought. But you're this person who knows how to get what they want and what they want. You're someone who's very stable with your career. Someone who probably um is older than this person or your partner. But with the Tower card being here, a lot. This actually, this situationship or this breakup has been brewing on for quite some time. Pile number three, and I know that you do want to hear um 
You don't want to hear if you're going to get back together. Right now, there isn't any indication of that, especially with the high priestess here. Whatever is happening on the future of your relationship is very, very much concealed, um, at least right now, because you're being forced to change your ways. This Knight of Swords... Um, right at the center of your card i think that as a person you're very blinded sometimes by your anger you're probably someone who has the tendency to say very harsh words when they're mad i know someone who's like that and normally when you know when i ask this person why are you you know why is it that when you're mad you say a lot of awful things you know this person just said um they just really had to get it out. And that could be a thing that you were doing. You think that it's okay because this person didn't really, you know, they were very like secluded or at least they kept their emotions within them out of, out of sacrifice for you because they don't want to hurt your feelings. This person has a lot of love for you, but I think that how you treated them wasn't really the best. And um, it was really basically what burned the house down. But with the tower card being here in reverse, these are major, the these are major energies that are affecting your life right now. I think that there is, this one has a lot of impact in terms of you know, not just your life, uh, not not just um, I mean, if we're gonna be very specific, this has a lot of impact on you know, um probably or is impacting your career right now in the sense that you've become very depressed probably you haven't you know you haven't been as productive that's just a random thought if it doesn't resonate leave it but um it's just very sad because this person has a lot of love for you and yet you know you sort of were like you sort of were like very um you're not that understanding because <laughs> so i'm trying to use a more friendly word but well if i'm going to be straight about it you're you were basically you know bitching off for quite some time <laughs> and that's why they decided to walk away and just you know enjoy this little freedom and just be in their little space but i'm telling you they did have a lot of sacrifice for you so i I think you should also put that into credits on pile number three. Let's get some clarifications. Um, Spirit, can you clarify the three of cups, please? You have here the eight of cups in reverse. So again, withdrawal, um, withdrawal, withdrawal from them from themselves and just really getting out there. The eight of cups talks about looking inward, especially with a reverse card here. Um, this arrow really just you know points inward like from me being the reader so i think that this person you know just really thought well and hard about what they want in life or how they really want to deal with this and right now the only way they see that they can survive you know what happened let me just um remind you pile number three just because they don't want to fix it right now or at least that seems like it, they don't um, or they want to focus on themselves doesn't mean that they don't love you or they didn't, you know, they're not thinking about you. The fact that they did have a lot of sacrifice for you to understand you in this relationship means that they did, you know, they didn't want to make it work. You have here the lovers in reverse. Interesting. Interesting that... The hanged man is being clarified by the lovers. The lovers, after all, can depict a, de um, a decision that that they need to make, and right now they don't want to make that decision. They don't want to. They don't want to. You know, they don't want to decide or they don't want to make a move if they, you know, if they still want to remain in their private space or if they want to be the catalyst for change, um, for the change in your current situation. Um, the lovers can also. You know, the lovers can also talk about really just very, very deep emotions. And I think that this person right now is really hurting, um, pile number three. So if anything, I think it would be really good to give them space. You have here the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so again, um, the Eight of Wands talks about speed. And like I said earlier, sometimes, you know, you're with the arrows here, I think that, 
I think that you have a natural tendency to be, you know, very particular with how you want certain things done or how you want certain things said or how you want things to go. But I think that that approach really isn't fit for your person. Um, especially, it seems to me that your your attitude really just makes them feel that they're always attacked. Like they're they always have to be on guard. And I'm telling you this because. Um, while it is concealed, at least right now, while it's still concealed on how your relationship or how this is all going to end, that's something that you need to change if you do want to get this person back together or if you do want your relationship to, you know, progress with any person because no one wants to always feel, no one in a relationship wants to feel that they're like being attacked every day. Like you always have to keep their, you know, they, their guard up. Oh, and side note, I think that this situation that you have, it started because you got carried away by your emotions and you just said, no, I don't want it anymore. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want it anymore. I'm just like, let's break up or something. And then probably 10, 15 minutes after you were like, oh shit, what did I just do? So yeah, you have here the seven of cups. So with the high priestess being here, um, you know, this person could very much be really, they could really, really be confused about what's going on. Um, and that's not something that they are going to tell you right now. Um, it's something that they prefer to keep to themselves and just, you know, be in their own private space to deal with their whatever it is that they're feeling right now. But you do have here the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um right underneath the tower and underneath you have here the world. So it's funny. Um, because they do have an inkling of getting back to you, but there is a condition. They do want to get back. I think that this person really has a lot of love for you with the Ten of Cups being here. The Ten of Cups, regardless if it's upright or otherwise, it's always a positive card um, on a love reading. It's something that always just talks about love, energy, positive, you know, positive feelings, just really a happy family. even. Um, you know, um, even the traditional um, tarot or on most tarot really just shows about, you know, like happy family and stuff or happy relationships. Now, with the tower card being here, I think that as much as your love, as much as your love burns within you, you have to strike a balance to understand that they also are their, their own self. They're also an individual person with different wants, different beliefs, different preferences. It's not always supposed to be focused on you, which is what I'm seeing here. And that's also the reason why they're very, very confused. Why they don't want to talk to you because it's it doesn't become a two-way conversation. You see the image here? Doesn't become a two-way conversation. Something is just blocked. The moment that the other person stop, starts saying, the other person is going to say something and it's just going to get lost in translation while the, the both of you feel like you're talking when you're only just, you know, spitting out words. And with the world card being here underneath your deck, um, this thing, like I said earlier, this thing that's happening um, in your situation is really teaching you something. It's teaching you to be more careful of what you say, of how you want your image to be portrayed as a partner, of how, you know, how quickly you make decisions. And they're not really just quick decisions, they're rash decisions. So the universe is really just trying to, you know, get things in alignment that if this person does proceed to going back with, you know to just pursuing you again and just really getting back with you remember you have here the ten of cups they would require things to change and right now you're being forced to change because i think that this problem that you had regarding you know your 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 tactlessness for lack of a better term your insensitivity sometimes i think that it's been some it's something that you've you've discussed before but you weren't really able to put to but the rest. So that's going to be a requirement for, for, you know, for the future of your relationship once this Ten of Cups manifests, okay? So let's get some channeled messages for you, what your person wants to tell you. You have here, I miss you so much, it hurts. So again, there is love there. There is love. There is admiration. There is fondness. 
but the fact that they're saying I miss you so much then you know they're still in that feeling that you guys are separated commit to me so there really is a lot of you know the energy here that they especially with the ten of cups ten of cups and the lovers being here these two falling here they really do have a lot of love for you but they're not you know what they're gonna do about that love is another question oh here you have here i need you you hold my heart the back of the deck you have here we fit together like a puzzle piece so i think that this person really has a lot of love for you the only question that they need to answer is if they still want to pursue you or if they still want a relationship with you. Because you can love someone and not want to be in a relationship with them because of, you know, their attitudes or their issues. So I think that um I think that this person um this person is just taking their time right now. Um but if there's any but if you do want to fix this relationship, I think that you, whoever's watching, should initiate a conversation. This arrow pointing to the self is really sticking out to me this one it's really sticking out to me so um if you do want to get back with this person then i think that you should be the one to approach them after all um although this is a general reading for most of you i think that you know the reason for the situationship was just really you you know having failing to have better choice of words let's just say that so um yeah that's it file number three thank you so much for being here if you did like this video please do give me a thumbs up comment down below if you want me to check on anything especially in the situation <laughs> do comment um and yeah follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok um psyche libertina i post um daily advice videos there and um if any of you is a fan of manifestation, I do have my own manifestation candle lines, Wix and Crystal. So we're also on Instagram and Facebook. So um, that's it, pile number three. Thank you so much for being here. And if you did, so that was cut. So again, pile number three, thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you on your next reading. Bye.